All right, we're back, kids. We got, uh, let's do this. Pick that up for a second. We're gonna use a trash can for a workstation. Let's clean it up a little bit. So tow shifters here, wide kit installed, shock weight switched to 50, and car broken. Kind of bummed out, little big guy. He thinks, he thinks his tires are too tight. My money's on inside this thing here. There's something not happy. It's, we've isolated it. If you, if you hold the tires solid and spin the other set, nothing sounds bad. You hold these solid, spin those, nothing sounds bad. You spin them so the center diff and all that connects. Sad sounds. Sad sounds say so much. So the Super Rock and Roll Max is back in action. What's up? Like, if, if I were to consider myself a semi-intelligent human being, I would think, like, I put the Wide Max kit in, which fucked with all four drive shafts at all four corners. And it didn't make the sound this last time I drove it. So it's like, what changed? The wide max kit. I doubt the 50 weight shock oil is making the noise. Pretty good chance that's not. I'm going to go so, ahead and put your mind at ease there. I'm going to. Don't launch it from the top of the trash can, though. <laughs> well, you can. I might put your body on real quick and beat it up a little bit. Hey, you guys hear that sound? I would take that guy, that guy, that guy that guy and that guy off and pop that out and look inside i think you got i think it's a loose set screw or something maybe well i mean i'm not an expert but i play one on tv you want me to get you a magnetic tray no I'm trying to think if there's we're risking it we're risking it risking it all uh well while you're risking it all let's uh let's do something here i'll get you out there you go, you put your parts in there. Ooh, you got parts right there. Where can we set this to make a nice... Here, just give it some, I'll loop it. Oh, there you go. Least likely place to lose your screws is in my snow shovel. Are you good? I'm good, you jam. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll jam a little bit, we'll make a short video, maybe a, a five minute guy. See if I can slip and fall, the ice is compacted. I, uh, I screwed this jump together here, and uh, it's not it doesn't move anymore. But what what I've what the result is is it's uh, it bucks me. I think before the the jump was shifting enough. That was a good floater. Oh, I looked down at the screen. So I don't know. Kind of feel bad for tow shifter a little bit this is the first time we've had our machines in the same spot with like batteries charged so we could both play and uh it's not looking so good Ooh, commit to the miss Oh, commit to the miss again. I must not have that lined up on the line today. I need to readjust that. I did move that jump a little bit. Man, I'm just doing awesome because I already smoked the cinder block once today and that's not fun. So, uh, yeah, tires are, these are my beater tires now, I guess. I re-glued them. I'm gonna be checking them periodically to make sure they're look good. Makes me happy, er. See if we can get a zoomy zoom guy on this. I know the zoom sometimes my aim is kind of questionable. It's kind of narrow over there. Let's see if I can hit myself off this. Oh. Yeah, just it's super hard to look at the screen and drive. I haven't mastered that technique. I'm working on it. And what would be a better technique is just to be like confident with 
my camera aim and not ever look down. But, I mean, I don't know. Some of my videos I've watched and it seems like uh, there's a lot of me filming me doing something off camera, which is, I'm sure is fantastic uh, viewing for you guys. I mean, nothing, nothing's better than watching someone uh, mess their camera shot up. We'll try to send one off this real quick. I look down for one second. Oh, fully missed nuggets. Oh! Oh, don't be stuck. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should just go back to head cam. I mean, the head cam works the best. It's just, I feel like sometimes there's a lot of extra motion in the head cam. That was a pretty good jump. I mean, it, it could have been because when I was first doing head cam, it was my, when I first got this thing and I was like having to like check everything. I might be a little more confident and they go back to the head cam. Woo, that got crazy. All right, let's go check on Toe Shifter. See how he's doing. Perfect timing for the cartwheel wreck of doom. Do some cookies, because cookies are cool. How goes the struggle? Oh, we're making progress. Did you get inside yet? I got half the diff off, or half the cover off. Cover. I do see part of the problem, and I do think it's a set screw. What's that? This guy's backed out against the against the edge, which is probably not supposed to be. Do you need any tweezers or needle noses or anything? I don't think so, but I need this guy to come out. You need some super shitty Allen wrenches. I was, I was just shit talking your fucking hobby set the other day, you know, like, haha, ha, fuck your hobby tools. Yeah, I need to get a set of those. <laughs> I guess. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't get cheap ones. Don't get the one I got. Broke already? The, I mean, the tools are fine. Like all the bits, I guess you would call them, are fine. But the ratcheting handle thing is already sh uh, full shit. Okay, so what are you seeing that's out? See how that is rubbing on the plastic? It's like that backed out. So it's this set screw right there. This set screw right here. Correct. Is what I'm going to try. If I was only live streaming, which you know, this is why I have a turbo toe shifter. My channel is a live streaming channel that doesn't stream live. Have you, have you noticed that? <laughs> I'm just a live streaming channel that's not live. That's my epic move. Oh, something went clink. What was that? Nothing. Is like a rock in there? Or is that bearing froze up? That dirty old bearing. Well, the bearing goes, the bearing sits on the inside. I mean, is it spinning? Here, uh. Without the cover. Can you just lift this whole assembly out without, you see if that bearing spins? Like, does it hold, spin? Hold that. Yeah, he's spinning, he's spinning. You got lube in there. Oops. Uh, spin your tires now and see if it makes a clicky clack. Okay, so we've isolated it. It's in your, it's not your motor, it's not your, that thing, it's in your, it's in your, that. Drive line. Isolate the back tires. Here. So it's it's not in your rear differential or your front, it's in your center diff. Something's clickety clacking. And I'm too naive to give you ultimate awesome information. I mean, it's probably gonna be from the underside maybe, or it sounds like there's something in there rubbing on it. Here, uh, let me spin it. Check your teeth, make sure all your teeth are there. Is that going in a full circle, that gear? Yeah. All your teeth still attached? Yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, I don't think there's a correlation between the Wide Max kit and that. I don't know how it could be. No, I wouldn't think so either. It's just a shitty fucking. Huh. Well, you want to give us a thumbs up? That's the 10 minute mark. Tell me how you feel about Traxxas products. Oh, they're good. <laughs> they're good. They're Buy. good. <laughs> they're good. Buy four. I did. <laughs> Stay safe, kids.